ത്രഡ് ജൂലൈ സെയിൻറ്റ് തോമസ് അപ്പോസൽ സൊലംനെറ്റി തോമസ് ഈസ് റിനൗണ്ട് അമങ് ദി അപ്പോസൽസ് ചീഫ്ലി ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് ഹിസ് ലാക്ക് ഓഫ് ഫെയ്ത്ത് വിച്ച് വാസ് ഡിസ്പെൽഡ് വെൻ ദ റിസൺ ക്രൈസ്റ്റ് അപ്പിയർ ടു ഹിം ഹി പ്രൊക്ലൈംഡ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഇൻ ഫാക്ട് ദി ഈസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ഫെയ്ത്ത് ഓഫ് ദ ചേർച്ച് വെൻ ഹി സെറ്റ് മൈ ലോഡ് ആൻഡ് മൈ ഗോഡ് Nothing certain is known of his life apart from what is given in the gospels but tradition has it that he preached to the people of India from the 6th century a feast of the translation of his relics has been kept at Edessa on 3rd July a reading from the homilies of Pope Saint Gregory the Great on the gospels my lord and my god thomas called the twin who was one of the 12 was not with them when jesus came he was the only disciple missing when he returned he heard what had happened but he refused to believe what he heard the lord came once more and offered his side to his skeptical disciple to be touched and he showed his hands and the scars of his wounds and he healed the wound of thomas disbelief what conclusion dear brethren do you come to surely it was not by chance that this chosen disciple was missing in the first place or that on his return he heard that hearing he doubted that doubting he touched and touching he believed it was by divine dispensation and not by chance that things so fell out god's mercy worked wonderfully for when that doubting disciple touched his master's wounded flesh he cured the wound of our disbelief his skepticism was more advantageous to us than the faith of the disciples who believed in as much as he came to believe by actually touching we can lay aside all doubt for our faith is made whole so this doubting disciple who actually touched became a witness to the reality of the resurrection thomas touched him and cried out my lord and my god jesus said to him because you have seen me thomas you have believed the apostle paul said only faith can guarantee the blessings that we hope for or prove the existence of the realities that remain at present unseen it is abundantly clear that faith provides the proof for those things that cannot be seen visible things do not require faith they command recognition in as much as thomas saw and touched why was it said to him because you have seen me you have believed what he saw was one thing what he believed another a mortal man could not have seen god thomas saw a man but by his words my lord and my god he acknowledged his divinity it was by seeing that he believed for he recognized the reality of the man and cried out that he was god although he could not see god what follows is a source of great joy blessed are they who have not seen and have believed this expression makes a special reference to us for we have not seen him in the flesh but know him in the mind so if we put our faith to the proof by good works we are blessed he who gives expression to his faith is a genuine believer 
Saint Paul says of those whose faith is merely nominal they profess their faith in God but their actions give them the lie for this reason James says faith without works is dead